Hey y'all, Johnny Mullet here with another update on the bus build. Uh, sorry it's been a couple weeks since the last update, but I've been really busy lately. Um, uh, most of you know that I run the Geo Metro website and I have Geo Palooza coming up. And this is going to be the 11th annual Geo Metro meet here in Northeast Ohio. And there's a lot of prep work to invite, you know, a hundred something people here. So let me share with you what I got going on with the bus build. So real quick here, you can see that I got some sanding and stuff going on. Um, what I've been doing is prepping the hood. The hood, I told you last video, there's a lot of clear coat. And I have to get the clear coat sanded. And it was really, really thick in this area. And I was using 80 grit sandpaper to get the clear coat off. As you see, I went down to the primer and even went a little bit into the clear coat. Not, or not the clear coat, but the uh, fiberglass here. But it's very smooth because I've been working on the front part here too. So you can see the clear coat is this white stuff right here. So I sanded that with 80 grit and then smoothed it the best I can. And then I went over with 200 grit and it's actually pretty smooth. I think this would be okay for paint. None of this is going to show up because I can't feel it. You know, it's not going to leave lines. So that's what I've been working on as far as the body. Um, I got to fill these holes. I got to get some fiberglass, you know, Bondo and fill these holes where the mirrors were. And let me take you to the back of the bus and show you where I got with that. Real quick before I show you the back of the bus, I wanted to show you, uh, I did, you know, dress the wheels up a little bit. Uh, if any of you watched any of my older videos before the bus build, I had the Eco Mudder project and the engine was painted Caterpillar Yellow. I had a whole can of Caterpillar Yellow and decided, eh, let's dress the wheels up just a little bit. It's only temporary because the whole bus is getting painted and the yellow wheels are not going to stay. But, you know, just for now, instead of the plain nasty black, I decided to dress it up just a little bit because we've been driving this bus like crazy. If you look, it's very, very dirty. I mean, I've been driving this, I think I told in the last video, I've been driving it back and forth to work and we've been driving this bus everywhere. Having a good old time, you know, grocery shopping and cruising and checking out the lake and... Believe it or not, I've put almost a thousand miles on this bus since I've got it. Anyway, back here. If you look up here, you can see that hole got a little bit bigger. And there's another hole right next to it. So fiberglass Bondo is going to be needed up there to smooth that out. Um, down here, a little fiberglass here to smooth that. And... Here's what I did. The leftover paint I had after I did the wheels, I decided, let's shoot this and see what it looks like. Yep, it looks like shit. I do not want the paint job to look rough and crappy, like, you know, raw rust. So fiberglass here, a little repair here, and also over here. But like I said before, the back is the worst part of the bus. The rest of the bus is in excellent shape excellent shape so let's go on inside of the bus and uh, share a few more things okay first off we haven't done anything else with the inside of the bus except a little bit of decoration we got this nice little welcome sign the old lady picked that out pretty nice and she picked this one out be free looks really nice right there and back in the bathroom one more little sign. Family is the love of the home. Imagine that, right? Should have got like uh, a sign that said, home is where you make it. You know, like Joe Dirt. Yeah, anyway. So the last thing left inside the bus is, I told you before, we got to finish painting. I'm going to paint the front. Um, this white perforated ceiling that I did not like, I can live with it. 
we're just going to go ahead and finish painting the front. Paint it all, all white and get it done. So I wanted to share a little bit of a quick story time with you all. Um, we got some big plans coming up. Um, I told you earlier in a video about uh, the Geo Metro meet I got coming up. It, it's a huge thing for me. I mean, we've been doing this for, you know, since 2008, and uh, it's it's big. And we're going to have over, you know, 120, 130 people here, and I'm pretty sure all these people are going to want to tour the bus, too, because I've been posting the same information I've been sharing here on YouTube, on the schoolie.net forums, and also Geo Metro forum. And uh, I found out that there, okay, so there's Geopalooza, right? Can you believe it? There's a Geo Metro meet. Well, there's also Schoolie Palooza. I'm like, what? Really? School bus conversion meet? Well, yeah, they're going to have their third annual Schoolie Palooza in Quartzsite, Arizona in January of 2019. So I got to thinking, wow, man. What if we take the Thunder Bus, the Schoolie Palooza 2019? Okay, you know, Johnny Mullet and the Thunder Bus, let's do it, right? Come on! You know, I've been driving the shit out of this thing. It'll go, it'll make it, it's mechanically sound. Um, this is going to make me finish all the goals I have set. Finish painting the bus, finish the backup camera, finish the interior of the bus. You know, hey, it's uh, goals that I need to accomplish before I can make it to Scully Palooza. So I'm thinking about, okay, how am I going to talk the old lady into this? Well, I got to looking on the map, okay? So I bring up Quartzsite, Arizona, and it's a desert, and there's lots of RVs and lots of snowbirds that hang out there in the winter. But... As you zoom in on the map, you know, the California line, it's right there. Okay, so I scroll over, and okay, look at that. Palm Springs, Anaheim, that's where the old lady grew up. And she's been wanting to go back for years. I mean, we've been married 20 plus years. She's been wanting to go back a long time. So, how can I make this work? You know, I started showing her the maps and this and that, and she's like, so you think we can take the bus all the way to California and back? I'm like, I think we can do it. I mean, it's going to cost some money. I mean, let's, let's figure the math. Uh, let's say 2,500 miles one way. Um, that's if we go all the way into California with the bus. And 10 miles to the gallon. So divide, you know, 2,500 by 10. You're looking at 250 gallons of fuel. All right, let's let's estimate high. Let's say four dollars a gallon for diesel. It's not four dollars. It's like three thirty. But let's estimate high. Let's say four dollars a gallon for diesel. Two hundred and fifty times four. There's a thousand bucks to get there, and a thousand bucks to get back. You know that might seem extreme. It's like wow, that's a lot of money. But you know we're not going to be. Staying in hotels at 120, 130, 40, 50, 80, 200 bucks a night. We're going to be staying right here in the bus. We're going to be cooking our own meals. I mean, we're going to be able to do this on the cheap. Um, granted, we got the whole portable toilet thing going on. Hey, if we got to use it, we got to use it. Um, we got the portable shower deal. If we got to use it, we're going to use it. Why not? Let's test it out. Let's test the waters and make sure this bus is ready for what I want to do with it when we're ready to go full time. So I think this is the plan. I mean, I think we're going to go ahead and try this. Um, I want to get this bus ready to go. In January 2019, I think we're going to hit the road to Schoolie Palooza, Quartzsite, Arizona. Um, I guess, uh, reading online, I guess the first Scully Palooza, just like Geo Palooza, there was, you know, six to eight that showed up. And then last year, they had like 40. And the same thing with Geo Palooza, you know, the first year was small, the next year bigger, 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 bigger. And every year, 
It's been growing. So, I've never been out west. I've never been west of the Mississippi. I don't think I've ever been as far as, uh, I think, Indianapolis. That's about as far west as I've ever been. So, this is going to be new for me. And uh, according to Google Maps, it's like 33, 34 hours. That's nonstop, of course. But uh, um, my wife's a really good friend. She wants to go with us. So, it'll be three of us going. We could pretty much drive nonstop, right? Why not? And there's room for three to sleep. We could sleep back there. She could sleep up here. Why not? Let's make it happen. So if we could make it into Quartzsite, Arizona, I'm going to take two weeks vacation. She's going to take two weeks vacation. So we got paid vacation. It's not going to cost us, you know, work time or work money to pay for our other living we got going on with the house. And uh, <laughs> I'm really excited about this. This is going to be awesome. Um, we're, I'm really, really excited. I think I'm kind of nervous, too. I mean, like I said, I've been driving the shit out of the bus. It's mechanically sound. It, it runs great. It seems like the more I run it, the better it runs. I mean, when I first got this thing, I'm, man, what a slow turd, you know. But anymore, it's like, it goes. It's Now, top speed on this thing is... I'm not going to lie. Top speed is like 65. I can get it up to 70. I can get it up to like 73, 74, but you're really pushing the RPMs up to like 27, 2800, which is max. And the 7.3 liter diesel engine, you know, it's good working range is 2300 RPM. That's where you get the peak horsepower. And at 2,300 RPM, I'm right around 55, 57 miles an hour. And every time I drive this bus, it seems like it likes 57 miles per hour is like the speed it likes. You know, I set the cruise control, and it just purrs. You know, it just goes. Um, this route, according to the map that I'm taking, there's not going to be no Rocky Mountains or not. It's going to be a pretty flat route. So, I, you know... This is a serious deal. Um, what do you think, guys? Schoolie Palooza 2019! It's going to be out. I, I want to check out other bus builds. I want to meet other YouTubers that are doing bus builds. Um, there are so many out there that, you know, I'd love to meet in person. I'd love to check out their buses and, you know, share life stories and, you know, ask questions. You know, what's it like, you know, you know just general life questions you know things that i want to ask and get to know people that i've been following on youtube since i started this project getting to know them personally and there's nothing wrong with that and i have a feeling that schooly palooza 3 it's going to be you know double the count that they had last year there could be you know 60 80 buses there that would be great and i'm hoping that you know, a lot of the people that have been there last year will go back again, you know, this year. And uh, it would be great to meet you all. I mean, it's going to be something cool. I'm totally looking forward to this. So basically, you know, this is where we're at. Um, I got some body work to finish up. Basically, the body work is the back and the hood. Once that's done, we're going to pressure wash this bus. I mean, my neighbor came down the other day. I shared a few beers with him. He's like, yeah, I got a pressure washer. I ain't afraid of heights. Did I say that? Yeah, I'm afraid of heights. I'm not going to lie. If you've seen the earlier videos, I paid a buddy to help me do the solar panels and the, the fantastic fan because I'm afraid of heights. I, I hate to say it, but I am. I mean, I can put the ladder up against the side of this bus, and I can go right up to the second from the last rung, and I can see the whole roof. I can almost touch the middle. But the process of crawling over, my legs start shaking. Up. I ain't, I'm a big pussy. I, 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 can't, I can't get on the roof of my bus. I'm scared. I'm afraid of heights. I always have been. Even as a diesel mechanic all my life, you know, um, you got to change a marker light that's on the top front corner. And you lean the ladder up against man. I start shaking halfway up and, you know, I get my shit together and I get up there and then next thing you know, the screw's not coming out and I got to crawl back down. I got to get an impact screwdriver and a hammer and 
then I'm really scared. You know, it's, I'm sorry. I'm afraid of heights. I'm not a carpenter. It is what it is. Regardless, we're going to get this shit done. Um, my neighbor said he's going to help me pressure wash the entire bus. And then I'm going to take a whole day. After it's pressure washed, I'm probably going to run it down the road, bring it back, hope for some dry weather, and look for a good dry spell. And I'm gonna, it's going to take most of the day of one day to mask everything off and remove anything I don't want painted. And then the day after that, I want to get started somewhat early, but not too early, where the dew's still sitting on the bus, and spray paint the bus. I showed you the sprayers. It's going to be trial and error. It's going to be, we're going to try the electric one. If that don't work, we're going to try an air sprayer. We're going to mix the paint with a little bit of mineral spirits. It's all going to be trial and error. I'm not a painter. My neighbor's not a painter. He said, mix a little bit of mineral spirits in it. Thin it out just a little bit. You'll be fine. I'll help you. So it's good to have good neighbors. Good to have good friends. So anyway, this is the latest update on the bus build. Episode 36? I don't know. I lost count. I can't remember. Episode something. Anyway, Schooly Palooza. That's, it's in the works. I mean, come on. What do you think, guys? Should I do it? I mean, it's going to be the ultimate test of hitting the road. It's going to be... A real world two week scenario. It's it's gonna be awesome. Oh, I wanted to share one thing with you. Um, I don't have the laptop or nothing. I could share pictures with you and show you on the laptop. When I was at work, this was uh shortly after my last video, I was getting ready for bed and there was a Facebook post on Schooly Nation on Facebook, and some of you heard of it. It's a Facebook page, very popular. And there was a post from some lady that says, help, we're broke down. My husband can't get the wheels off. Can someone help? And I noticed that she posted from a town like real close, like 15 miles away. So I messaged her with my phone number. She called me like within minutes. And I told her, look, I'm like the only game in town, okay? My shop is not far from you. What's going on? She says, Something's wrong with the back wheels. The brakes are smoking, and there's brake fluid running out every time we hit the brakes. And we can add fluid and have brakes, and then they're gone after a few hits. I'm like, so you can still move the bus? She said, yes. I said, well, there's a wrecker service about 30 miles west of you. He's going to whack you 1000 bucks right off the bat to tow it to his shop, plus whatever it needs. If you still have brakes, you can make it to my shop from where you're at without hitting your brakes maybe once or twice. I told them that you get on the interstate, the very first exit across the state line, it's an uphill ramp, clear view, look both ways, you probably won't even have to hit the brake, go around the corner, make a left, go down to the stop sign, and look both ways. You might not even have to hit the brake, and my shop's a quarter mile down the road. I'll see you in the morning. So this was the time I've been driving the shit out of the bus, back and forth to work, grocery shop, and so forth. Took the bus to work. I pulled right up next to them. They were sitting there that morning because I went in early, and the husband came out, and he greeted me, big smile, nice guy, and their schoolie was gray, with a pink roof and pink bumpers. It was an old 91 International 11 window bus. It had a DT-466 and they had a hydraulic brake system. Uh, first thing I did is I got the VIN number and the year and make. I crawled underneath the bus. I seen what happened right away. The brake bonding material, okay, there's brake pads just like a car. You got a brake pad and it's a metal backing plate with the friction material bonded on. It came unbonded, it came out, and the pistons from the caliper overextended because there's no brake pad and the fluid leaks out. So I looked at the other side and I'm like, yep, that caliper's junk, I'll be right back. So I went into the shop and it was like early, it was like quarter after seven, 
I called the international dealer. I knew they didn't open until 8 o'clock, but I called it anyway. It rang like six times, and boom, my buddy Martin answers the phone. I'm like, hey, it's Johnny Muller. What's going on? He's like, hey, I was just, I decided to answer the phone because it was ringing. I'm like, cool, I need your help. Explained the situation, gave him the VIN number. He looked up the parts. He says, um, unfortunately, we do not have anything in stock because it's an older bus. But do you want the part numbers? And maybe you can find it aftermarket. I'm like, sure, sounds great. So I wrote all the part numbers down for the brake pads and the left and right caliper, which were both the same. Um, I hung up the phone and I called one of our vendors. No answer. I called another parts vendor. No answer. I called a third parts vendor. And Vanna, she picked up the phone. And I told her what's going on. She's like, hey, yeah, let me run those part numbers. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, I can have your parts. We'll get you set up by 10.30 in the morning. I'm like, sounds great. Let's do it. So I think each caliper was like, you know, 80 or 90 bucks. And the brake pads were like almost 100 bucks. And there was core charges, of course, for the calipers. And uh, I told them, parts are on their way. Make yourselves comfortable. There's a bathroom down here. There's a soda machine. Whatever you guys want to do. They were very grateful. I had them fixed up and done by noon. Parts showed up a little before 10. We got them in. And this bus had bud wheels. And the bud wheels is a 10 hole like a modern bus. Except instead of one lug nut holding both wheels. It is more of a stud pilot. So you have a inner nut. Which is a long nut with a square head. Holding the inner wheel. And then the outer wheel is held by a regular nut. So there's no way in hell this guy was going to get his lug nuts off, even if he had pry bars and all that crap. That was the only game in town. So I think their total bill was like 580 bucks, 590 bucks. Not bad, you know? Labor, parts, markup, brake fluid. They were so happy. They were so happy. They were able to hit the road, and it was, uh, let's see, husband, wife, Three kids and a friend. So there was six people on this bus and two dogs. And uh, they were so grateful. They were heading west. They were getting ready to go back to work somewhere in Minnesota or somewhere. And then they were going to head back to Arizona. They had Arizona license plates. That's where they were. That's where their residence. Or at least that's where they're tagged. But anyway, I just wanted to share that quick story. I was able to help the schooly family out. Pretty awesome, huh? So anyway, before I bore you all and blah, 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 story time, we're done here. Um, my next update is going to be more on focusing getting this bus done before winter hits. I know, we're talking about this shit already. It's mid-July and I'm already thinking about winter. You know why? Because around here, we got we don't got three months of winter. We ain't got four months of winter. We ain't got six months. We got like seven months of winter. You know, October, look out. It could snow at any time. So, you know, July, August, September, October, i got less than four months to get all this shit done and then keep this bus going. <coughs> and another thing, guys, okay, we're going to head to Scully Palooza, and this is January 14th of 2019. In January here... It's fucking sub-freezing, and there's probably going to be lots of snow on the ground. Which means we're going to have to fire this bus up in the dead of winter and start heading south. And hope for the best, you know. Let's, let's hope we ain't got 80 inches of snow. You know what I mean? So, anyway, a lot of shit going on. Um, like I said, I've been really busy. Geopalooza's coming up in a few weeks. Uh... First weekend in August every year. We're going to have Geo Metro drag races. We're going to have lots of friends here, lots of family. I consider my website my family because I know them personally. And uh, I, hopefully, I get to know more schooly people personally at Schooly Palooza. So it would be great to show up at Schooly Palooza 2019 and meet a lot of these people that I've been following on YouTube and checking out their builds. So that would be really cool. And it would be nice to see all those people that showed up last year to show up again next year. 
so I could meet y'all. So, you know, Johnny Mullet and the Thunder Bus, we're going to bring it. Anyway, it's getting late. It's getting dark. I don't want to give you a big old dark, crappy video. So we're going to call it. We'll see you all next time.